It is important for the saints to know what and where holy places are so they can find safety. To not know is to be at the mercy of the judgments of God and places the saints on the level of the rest of mankind. The modern church has defined holy places variously. One manual defines holy places as spiritual state instead of a physical location. A holy place is any place as long as one has the companionship of the Spirit. Elder Robert D. Hales believed that standing in holy places referred to unwavering obedience to the doctrines of the gospel. My beloved priesthood brother, young and old, let us glorify God's name by standing strong with our Savior. Jesus Christ, I bear my special witness that he lives and that we are called with a holy calling to participate in his work. Wherefore, stand ye in holy places and be not moved. Standing obedient and strong on the doctrine of our God, we stand in holy places, for his doctrine is sacred and will not change in the social and political winds of our day. I declare as did the Apostle Paul. Watch ye, stand fast in the faith, behave like men, and be strong. President Thomas S. Monson's definition of standing in holy places was similar to that of Elder Hale's. Standing in holy places is standing firm in righteousness. My beloved brothers and sisters, communication with our Father in heaven including our prayers to Him, His inspiration to us is necessary in order for us to weather the storms and trials of life. The Lord invites us, draw near unto me, and I will draw near unto you. Seek me diligently, and ye shall find me. Close quote. As we do so, we will feel His Spirit in our lives, providing us the desire and the courage to stand strong and firm in righteousness, to stand in holy places and be not moved. Unfortunately, these definitions miss the mark entirely. Holy places cannot be spiritual states of mind or patterns of behavior they must actually be specific physical locations. Saints are commanded to gather to holy places and stand in them. Gathering requires aware. Moreover, these definitions have severed the connection with the original purpose of holy places, safety from the catastrophes that will come. Standing firm in righteousness or obeying commandments by themselves do not protect one from fierce lightning, famine, plague, and earthquakes. Besides, the Lord has already clearly defined holy places. In the revelation where the Lord gave Joseph Smith his parable of the redemption of Zion, he told the prophet that the saints are to gather to holy places. They are to remain in these places, to stand until the Savior returns and burns the world with fervent heat.
His holy places, where the saints are to be gathered, are to be called the stakes, for the curtains or strength of Zion. Holy places are physical places, appointed by the Lord himself, where the saints are to gather and then stand, meaning remain or abide. 